Johnny. I just uh, wanted to show you my my drone today. I've just put them together. There, my drone, and my friend here fixed the broken knob control. That was bad for the um, um, bad for the packaging. It was all squashed the uh, packets, and it broke the knob off the uh, control. So that's 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 the drone. Um, I'm going to have to get a smartphone because this this phone won't fit in the holder of the thing here. The phone is not a smartphone, I don't think. It won't fit in there. So that you can watch where you're flying. And the camera, the camera is at the bottom here. Camera, there. So, um, it needs the right phone to hook into the GPS or the Wi-Fi to make the aerial work and the controls work to make it fly. So I'm just going to have a little practice when I, I'm going to go get some batteries for this bit, this control thing. This the knob was broken, this one. Turn the light on. This one was broken. So one of the guys that works here, the Indian guy, fixed it. And um, so that's all, all good. So all I have to do is buy a phone, go in there, there's a screen, to fly that far. And also some batteries for this, some AA batteries, four AA batteries for this. I've got a new battery I've charged up to go in there, so I've got six batteries, five spare and one in there. The other one's charging up. Um, so, um, if lots of battery, it, it lasts for 10 to 15 minutes in the air. Um, uh, flying time. And, uh, so that gives me what, six, sixty, one hour to fly this, one hour of flying time, and it can go about two hundred meters. Although it says three hundred meters, but two hundred meters safely. So what I want to do is go up two hundred meters, and then go up two hundred meters <coughs> to see if it will fly that way and lift a fishing line up like that and then take it out and drop it in the sea but I'm going to put a balloon here I'm going to tie a balloon on so that if it drops in the water then what? Oh dear, I can't swim out there and get it so it will just float in the ocean until someone finds it uh, anyway I. I got warned, my, my son told me, no, don't go out that way to the sea, stay on the land. So we're going to use this as a, a model exercise to take photos of the land block. You can turn the camera downwards, to point down there, and take an aerial shot of the land where we're going in Port Oanui. Uh, hitting a, a 12 block, that's 45 hectares, so I'm going to go right around the whole block <coughs> with all those batteries and mark it out and draw up the plans. I've been used to drawing plans up before, buildings, not putting buildings up, steel bolt up buildings, what I used to do, <coughs> with galaxy steel bolt up buildings, um, so a bit more, more so garage bolt up steel, no timber in it, and uh, to turn those into units uh, to live in. So 
um, in concreting. So we're going to use this to get the side plans drawn up to scale for the roads and all the services uh, to develop. That's what I want to do. Okay, and to um, um, particularly uh, along the um, erosion parts of the land. There's quite a bit of erosion. I'm going to go down on the beach. Um, just one of the blocks next, I think it's hitting a A10 block. There's quite a bit of erosion going right into the sea. So I'll take shots of that to address that problem. Um, plenty of ero erosion on those land blocks. So that's going to come in handy. You see him with his lights on. Uh, looks like a UFO. Uh, but uh, anyway, I've got the camera pointing down. And that's all ready. So the battery, this slides back and the battery comes out. I've got one here charging up. It should be full now. Um, oh, it's full when the light comes on. On here, like that. So when the light comes on, the battery's full. So take that out. So that's the new one that came out of it. So that's the spare one now, charged up with the rest of them. And that's us from a laptop to make this go. Okay, so I'm passionate about this little toy. Uh, I'm just uh, going to try it out maybe tomorrow on the weekend and see how it all works, read the instructions. And but I've got to look for a phone now to go in here, smartphone holder to fit in, in there. There, that's what the face looks like. So, the screen here, I think the screen's to show you how much battery you've got so you don't run out. And time, I think, that you've got to fly when it might run out of battery and then you're in trouble. So, that's a little gadget. I've seen other bigger ones, but um, this one's priced right, and it will do the job. It's a camera. So, I'm going to get to it the next time I get a bigger one, but that will do for now. And you just turn them off. Turn them off. Look at that. And then the top there. So all I had to do was fit these guards on. I've seen these things crashing the wall, crashing the ground, and just bounce off, bounce off, and we got s four spare propellers, so four of those spare of those, in case they break. Um, I don't know whether the other one's got the bigger pitch on it or not, but anyway, they're there, come with it. So we'll see what its worth is when we start using it. And um, the uh, camera can be hooked straight back into the laptop to take the films out, I think. I haven't worked that out yet. But anyway, there's a switch on the back. we we'll just turn it off. That's him. He's going to sleep. And that's the end of that one. So, there you go. Today is it's Wednesday, the 30th of July 2016. So, so far, this is where I'm at for people who are watching and wondering how long it's, why it's take so long for me to get somewhere with everything I'm doing. There's several things happening. We've got land issues, we've got legal issues, we've got political issues, we've got seabed issues and also, we've got Brexit issues, British ex uh, issues, and also our Confederation of Chiefs issues to the United Nations and to the World Court. We've got cases going to the World Court. We've got um, um, delegations going to the United Nations. They're still waiting for me to, do, to, to get something going. Uh, we have air land development at the East Coast in Rangitukia and also in Ruatoria on the eastern part on the coast. 
uh, to start developments off there. So we are got all of that to do and 30 blocks of land, I mean, as one of the owners. So i um, gone as a trustee of the Hiringa A Tog block for those people uh, in Port Awanui that um, are, are curious to see uh, what's going to happen there. It's simply this, I'm working in with the uh, lease oars. They have their lease is not finished yet, it'll, it'll end on about 16th of September this year. That's when I take up the lease for the next five years, times five years, um, depending on how the uh, uh, project goes. Our main focus in there is housing and um, um, our base for now, in the meantime, for the tidal energy project on the Ranfilly Bank. That's a big project um, to undertake uh, in international waters and also in territorial waters. That's got a lot to do with what I'm doing with um, Waitangi Marae and uh, with the chiefs there, Kingi Taurua. Uh, we've been through a lot in the last few years. I've known him for years and most of the old chiefs I died have left me a big responsibility to get things going for the, the confederation. It's a, this flag here uh, is a big responsibility for me to um, go back to the uh, uh, chiefs there in Ngāpui and I'm acting as a legal surrogate um, king, William, the fourth uh, monarch, um, uh, talking for uh, Ngāpui in particular, their flag, and uh, it represents all the hapu in this country. Um, coming together uh, and sharing what uh, we're pro proposing to do to kick us off with Brexit, the new British government. I'm hoping that we're going straight in there as the government of this country because of the nature in which the fraud that I'm working on is, is another uh, um, responsibility that I'm doing. Um, as native uh, protection of our titles here on these lands. Now, we're investigating all of that as part of um, ongoing investigations into titles and with banks, instruments and all of that legal stuff uh, with my barrister, um, Shannon Withers, um, uh, Falcon Chambers in the city, Auckland. So, I'm um, yet to see him I wanted to go on Friday, but I'm going to leave that off till Monday to see him uh, because I've got a lot of area to cover to make sure that what I do is transparent and it's up to others to challenge what I'm saying. And in particular, all the evidence I have for court hearing that I'm going through in the Auckland District Court Facebook is admissible as evidence you'll see on my Facebook site that I'm using Twitter, Google, in particular YouTube now as evidence, hardcore evidence in our court case and also Facebook. Facebook is more used in, in Supreme Courts now that I've put some precedent cases that I'm adding to my own case in Auckland. Uh, that states nothing's private if you put things on Facebook. That's why I'm saying I put everything on Facebook. It's for anyone who are accused on Facebook to refute it or challenge. That can be used to communicate between one person and another and it's up to those defendant or accused to respond to it. If they don't, the judge can rule on it. That's what I'm saying to the barrister when I see him next, is that everything I'm putting on Facebook, I'm going to put them together as being, I can pick off any of those right back through the years and put them forward and call on any of those documents that I put together as evidence. 
So that's relatively new in this country, whereas America is using it more so now on Facebook as being public, friends, friends and friends, to find somebody um, that's communicating with others who are necessary, innocent or guilty in some form of fraud or corruption or criminal activ activity where they can track someone through someone else. So I'm saying this, is that what I'm reading and putting online on Facebook just recent is that people can see what you're writing and what you're saying and can either use that against you or you can use that against them one way or the other. So if anyone hasn't reacted to what I'm writing, this is a warning to you. I'm making verbal affidavits on YouTube against anyone I accuse. And it's up to you to go to your lawyer or your barrister or your convincing lawyer about land and challenge what I'm saying. You'll find you'll have a hard job with this flag and now Brexit in Britain because of a contract. And that's my speciality is contract law. You have to be very careful when you start to challenge what I put in writing because if you're wrong, you stand to lose everything because that's what I'm saying. I'm putting a trillion pound note on anyone's head that takes me on. This is public notice to anybody in the world that I'm using King William the fourth <coughs> jurisdiction, his monarch sovereign and his authority to speak for him and my chiefs here in this country by right of inheritance to his partnership with us in contract, private contract. It means, really means, no one's business but ours. Us and him and no one else between. If I pick on you as being fraudulent on these native lands, it's up to you to challenge it. If you don't, I can call on the judge to rule on it through my barrister. It still has to go through the New Zealand Law Criminal Code or Crimes Act 1961. In this case, everything I'm doing is criminal fraud or criminal intent or accusations of fraud and corruption and conspiracy to defraud the public. So those are some of the things that I do apart from building construction and that's to come yet and also power generation in the sea. So all of those will kick off as soon as I wrap Cook Street up. My barrister did say to me there was nothing to stop me from going to Westminster. In fact, he was saying, go, we'll deal with your case later. No, I'm going to deal with it now before I go there because I want this title clear and this land here clear before I go because we're making a new contract and renew our contract or amend our contract with the British government and the British military. You can see now that people want to come here from Britain <coughs> because they feel safe that we have our two-way going here. We always did have. The only thing was the government there under the Queen has been ignorant and arrogant to leave us out and walk right past us, the natives, at Waitangi all the time. The Queen has never been on Titi Marae inside with us. Never. She's gone straight to the other side, Marae, and left us out. Well, now we take the other marae, Waitangi marae I'm talking about, and see who turns up in it, inside it when we're standing in it, because that's what's going to happen here. It's just another business. All business won't be affected by any decisions I make. If there's anyone else who's operating as sovereign, it's very difficult to do it on your own without this much weight behind you. And if you haven't got a flag that has a connection in Britain, then you have no military or government that's 
obligated to protect our business. That's what I'm tying the whole business up to Britain as being the other partner to recover all the debts I'm saying online. Okay, so those are just some of the things apart from my excitement with the uh, drone, with our friend here, the drone. And um, uh, I just want to share um, with Tamati Reed and Lim and uh, Rangitukia and our friend Joy. Joy? Fish time, fish time, right? I'm going to go get a fishing rod and try it out in the paddock. I don't want to lose it. I'm going to put a bone over here so it'll float, but then I can't swim out there to get it. Um, that, that, that's a problem. Um, anyway, that was an idea. So it's just some ideas, that's all. And, um, Tamati, when I come back down there next time, I'll just be taking video shots of the um, Waipu River. And this is for Te, te Tumutumu Pairo. I know there's a lot of negative talk of what's going on with you, but I'm only in it to administer and pay your bill for administering in the meantime, um, looking after that part of uh, the trust. And with me as a trustee, I'm just saying, we've still got our own autonomy and I'm not going to push what authority we have. I'm going along with the status quo with the New Zealand government, uh, with with the intention of pulling in the British government because of we need to investigate all transactions here in this country from our natives, chiefs, landowners. There has been gross misconduct on the part of John Key in running this country the same way as what abuse of this flag and the Admiralty law of Britain that Obama and Hillary Clinton has displayed a lack of respect and good judgment in using a king's authority in the martial law side of keeping the peace. There's been more violence underneath that regime and with the Queen giving him the authority to use the British law system in America to terrorise people and other countries and cause war. The same can be said here with John Key and the EU Parliament and their intention was to shut down Westminster and our flag. It came very close to John Key getting another flag, a rogue flag, from a fern from this country without respect for our flag. That's going to cost them dearly and the people in this country for trying that one on us. That was a real threat. There is still a threat hanging over this country, John Key. That's your TPPA you signed. That contract. This is a contract superseding your contract. We already authorised that in Waitangi Marae as the highest court in this land. We're indicating to the British to action what we have passed inside that marae and the Admiralty Law, court law, the pound note, and this flag is now legal from the 15th of March 2016, backdated to 1830. Okay, so everything we do and say is direct line to British military and government parliament to recover the debt. So we have ANAX, A, A, Y, N, A, X company in London recovering all the debt so in the levy instruments that I've put together in a pound note against the landowners of Cook Street. If you're watching this video, you're liable. You were liable the first time I dropped in those uh, orders. Uh, to seize the property. Property warrant has been authorised in Titi Marae and also in Waitagi Marae King's Bench Court to enforce on you and seize your land off you. It's not your land anyway. To seize the land back into the ownership of the hapu and the people of New Zealand. Everything I do 
goes back to the people of the world in the Commonwealth and other countries, 250 countries we have listed on our website. That is now legal. Everything I've written is legal. I have the authority from Waitangi Marae and Titi Marae from Kingi Kaurua, one chief out of all the chiefs who's the last man standing on his feet. That is the authority is him. While he's alive and well enough to administer that marae, both marais on his own ancestral land, that's set apart from any other land in this country. That one marae on Watangi land block is on his land and it's still his land. I'm going to seize it. Back with this authority and jurisdiction of Admiralty. We have that right to do that. So that's all I want to say, uh, apart from other videos, I'm just repeating myself to make sure, doubly make sure, that what I say is the law. If you can't contest anything I say, do, write, or display, and advertise. Um, so on Facebook, everything that's written with the Maui stamp, please do not use any of those instruments and copy them because they are patents in themselves. We have our own patents under this flag right here on this land inside our Marae. And the stamp of King William the Fourth, the seal, with him on his horse and his ship of Admiralty in the background on that seal. That seal and the Maui seal that you see, the round one, those two seals are the most powerful seals in the world of documents of Admiralty of Martial Law of the sea, of the land, of the air. <coughs> From Westminster Parliament and the acts we're using, 1830-1837, those apply. I put them on Facebook, I'll forever be putting them on Facebook and charge anybody against them from that capacity and that authority um, anytime soon. So with that, um, what else I wanted to add was I'm going to force Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB detective into the court and give a short timeline for her to respond. She has to counterclaim and I'm counterclaiming her. I'll be going on on Monday to see my barrister Mongo on Friday. I feel it's better for me to go on Monday so I can prepare a bit more for it. And at the same time, um, prepare a letter for um, Shannon Withers, a barrister, to um, to forbid John Key from enforcing any law, rogue law, over this law that I'm talking about from Waitangi Marae. We're seizing that Marae off his government because of the fraud that's been going on, the business of fraud that's been going on inside that Marae with Jerry Matapurai Andrews, the Governor General of Great England. <clears throat> I want that cleared before he goes to England. I want all the fraud exposed. Just like Trey Grouty in the FBI investigation panel. Why Hillary Clinton getting away with fraud and corruption. It's the same with John Key. The same applies here with him and me. And Jerry must provide. I'm going to go through the same, only I'm the judge in a native court in that Marae. Okay, so I'm applying the same. I have a right to be who I want to be, the sheriff in <coughs> that Marae, uh, for our lands. Right? So that's, that's what I really want to, to give my barrister, the document with the authority seal on it to 
bar the New World Order enforcing its laws on our land here and in all the states, countries and the Commonwealth countries that MOA is going into with the stamp on our website. Okay, because that's our financial interest. Our financial investment interest goes through all those countries from a higher authority of mortgage liens, levy and bank loans. The Pope never had any of that authority and we're going to seize that from him for defrauding the British citizens, people, with the Queen. They have libeled each other, libeled the Bank of England and Rothschild banks and Rothschild royal families, the Queen's royal families, they have libeled each other and libeled all their Crown agents in the world. That's what I'm saying. If the Queen owns all the land in the world, 66, 66 million acres or so, then the King is going to seize it all back. That's my job with all the other representatives in the indigenous world that we represent with this claim and also the people of the world who follow us and the British people, England and Wales. Now I'm proposing to um, the British and also America, not with Obama but with whoever's the new president, that we want America straight under Britain because it's owned by Britain anyway from the Queen. So we're going to take it off her and give it back to the king and put America straight in there with us. So it'll be a four state to make up for the loss of Ireland and Scotland. Gone out. They've got two years to get out of where we say, looks like you made your mind up to go and leave Britain and go in search of your own destiny with the other thugs in the EU. I'm saying that because they are thugs and the NATO surrounding Russia um, and with Turkey and all those other countries, Saudi Arabia and all those wanting to beat up Russia, you're going to find yourselves quite the opposite way around with your threats um, against other countries looking bad. All right? We fall apart, and but we're putting our authority with Britain as being responsible for our contract. Our contract still stands. No one can touch it. No one can touch our contract with this flag. And the British government and British military is liable to anything that happens on these lands while I'm in <coughs> discussions with our chiefs to go to Westminster. I've always said on my videos, I'm going to Westminster. I haven't got there yet, but I'm going there to sort out this lot. John Key and his government and sack them. I'm going to England to sack the Queen. Right, I've been saying that for a long time, but I've got a lot of work I'm doing myself here because there's not many people know this side of the story with the bank's biggest secret in this flag and that Marae, the Waitangi Marae on King's land. All the secrets been hidden in there, the bank's secrets has been in there all along. So that's the last thing I want to do with um, 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 my barrister to clear the police, dismiss the case, get a writ of execution to seize the land bank. I'm not worrying about the judge recovering the money or any compensation. I'll deal with it myself. I will get that back myself with the British military and with the Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Court. I will adjudicate that myself. The case. Okay? As a sheriff in there to recover the money the way we wish with British behind us. Okay? We'll have the military and martial law straight from there over any other martial law in the world with the, the British <coughs> to be notified yet. I'm going to write to the uh, British Prime Minister, uh, Theresa May, to give her our letter to me and to 
we just had our titles on the land with her around the world in 250 countries with their flag of a king, the only king in the world, with this authority. Okay, so that's all. That's all I want to say for now. Uh, nothing else to add. I can always add other things on the way through. But um, I'm looking forward to going back to Gisborne uh, to have another meeting with two more land blocks um, in Tiki Tiki um, on the um, two blocks there um, and see who, who turns up to those meetings. In the meantime, you're hitting a, a 12 block. Um, I will have a meeting there with the landowners once I'm settled in on the land after I survey it with this drone and draw it all up uh, with um, uh, housing, uh, new house. Um, I'm wanting to have research station there for um, diving team, uh, Navy or, or ex-Navy training uh, in the sea for the British military when they come here to Rangitukia. I'm hoping that the military will come straight on the beach there after I go through with this drone and, and draw that up as well. And um, um, set the place up. Um, so in the meantime, I want to put housing up on that land block for um, um, people uh, who come from overseas there uh, to exchange uh, with um, farms, uh, expertise and research, and also with Cow Project. Um, people, engineers, who will be coming there uh, with us from other countries, in particular Japan, um, if uh, that's for the sea, sea uh, farms, and because well, I've been there, I've been on the egg farms in Japan, uh, so I've got people there I know that can do all that quicker than I, I would. Uh, so we set up funding uh, with Power Note. So that's another area that I'm in, the banking, um, with our own power note as levy data instruments and also finance all our projects and um, get at least one going on the strength of that. And Cook Street, I'll see that property and we'll be building it straight up on what it should be. The building, not the old plan, we've got our own plans. I'm not sure of making plans. For that development is 2.5 billion for that project. The one at the East Cape is 2.5 billion as well. Um, the Tidal Energy Project just starts, that's only just the start at all. So there's a lot going into all that planning on that land block getting a, a 12. All those people, architects and um, experience from overseas come straight in there. We're going to have an airport there to fly straight in from Auckland. <coughs> and between me and my friend uh, Kevin Rice uh, up in Coromandel uh, to man the seas um, and back in our aircraft industry and he's in the marine field, uh, shipbuilder, luxury ships or big ship builder uh, and machinery and all the um, machine shop to do all that side of engineering with me with the hydrogen economy on the cards. Okay, so we have all that expertise on that level, as well as um, uh, roading and building construction uh, there too, as well as other uh, machinery and other smaller businesses. Okay, so that's all I want to say with my drone. I like my drone. Um, Take over a month to get here, so if anybody wants to buy a drone, um, there's plenty of them. So, you know, it's your choice really. There's some bigger ones that cost more. This one is $36 US, and for the batteries, for the extra five batteries, is $11 US with a charger. It comes with a charger uh, to charge five at a time. So you can, um, you know, know it's a, a, a good investment if it does the job, so I'm yet to see that. Learn how to drive it first. Uh, so with that, that's all I want to say for the meantime, uh, in a, and we'll catch you later. Have a good evening. Bye for now. John Auckland, Anahu, New Zealand.